Since coming into the limelight in 2017, Killian has cultivated the habit of mesmerising the world with his outstanding displays, which seem to be increasing year in, year out. Since his youth days, Mbappe has been leaving his mark in the world of football. As early as at the age of six, Mbappe was already considered by one of his youth team coaches, Antonio Riccardi, as being the best. The first time I coached him, he was six years old. You could tell he was different. Killian could do much more than the other children. His dribbling was already fantastic and he was much faster than the others. He was the best player I've ever seen in 15 years of coaching here. In Paris, there are many talents, but I'd never seen a talent like him. He was what we call a crack, the best. Many years later, the Frenchman is still being regarded as the best. Mbappe is the best player in European football. He is unstoppable, Ancelotti said in 2024. For a player who's been tagged as the best player in European football, many would think he would have won the Ballon d'Or by now at least once. But in what seems unbelievable... The Frenchman has never won the Ballon d'Or. Although Mbappe has come very close to winning the award several times, he's never clinched the title. Since joining PSG in 2017, Mbappe has finished in the top 10 of the Ballon d'Or list every year. The closest he has come to winning the title was 2023, when he reached a career-best third-placed finish. Despite winning many domestic titles in France for PSG, these titles are held in lower regard than, say, Spanish trophies, which he will now have a chance to win after securing his dream move to Real Madrid, which, if he can get some of these, will put him in a better position to win the Ballon d'Or in the future. And last year, Mbappe got close to winning the Ballon d'Or thanks to his performances in big games, especially in the World Cup final, where he scored a hat-trick. All was set for him to win the Ballon d'Or, but unfortunately for him, Messi happened. Mbappe believed he was going to win the award after his brilliant displays during 2022-23. The new criteria, it's about burning eyes. It's someone who has had an impact. I think I correspond to these criteria, so I would say yes, but we'll see, Mbappe said before the 2023 ceremony. He later admitted that Lionel Messi was deserving of the award. Now, the shock of not winning in 2023 didn't kill the zeal in Mbappe for the award. If anything, it increased his enthusiasm for it. The Ballon d'Or continues to be my goal. Since my childhood, I wanted to become the best player in the world. I want to keep progressing, but without losing the pleasure of playing, he said earlier this year. In his pursuit of the award, Mbappe is always motivated by what football greats have said. Many football lovers and fans have shared the sentiment that Mbappe is going to win the award one day. In an interview with RTL, French national coach Deschamps said that Mbappe will win the prestigious award as it's part of the striker's objective. What are the new criteria? Is it catching the eye and being impactful? I think he meets the criteria. We'll see. He'll win it sooner or later. Platini also believes the Frenchman has all it takes to become football's new frontman and will win the Ballon d'Or soon. Mbappe's in pole position for the future. The future is in front of him. He can win everything. He's the best player who should be the future great star of the years to come. He's the best French player now. He has everything to be the best, to win the Ballon d'Or several times, Platini said. In 2021... The then Monaco head coach, Niko Kovac, also backed Mbappe to win many Ballon d'Ors in the future. Kylian is one of the three best players in the world at the moment. He will win a lot of Ballon d'Ors if he continues like this. He's making the difference for PSG at the moment. His speed, agility and power, it's hard to defence against him. If he continues like this and stays healthy, he will be the best, he said. But when exactly will Mbappe win it? Is it this year? Mbappe started the 2023-24 season with one thing in mind, winning the Ballon d'Or, and so far he's on his way to doing so, as he's currently one of the favourites. The Ballon d'Or ceremony itself will be held in October 2024, by which time Mbappe will be a Real Madrid player. Mbappe's on his way to winning his first Ballon d'Or after an impressive display in the 23-24 season. During that season, he scored 44 goals, gave 10 assists and won the domestic treble, the Ligue 1, the Coupe de France and the Trophée des Champions. He also went far in the Champions League as his team were eliminated in the semi-final. 
with these numbers, he would have been assured of winning the Ballon d'Or, if not for the outstanding performances of Kilian's new teammates, Jude Bellingham and Vinicius Jr., who both crowned their beautiful performances with the Champions League trophy. An edge they have above Mbappe and Florian Wurtz, who has been the key player for Leverkusen's history-making season and their invincible title win. Despite this, the margin is still razor thin, and there's only one thing standing in his way to winning the Ballon d'Or this year, the Euros. Winning the Euros will rank Mbappe above the other three favourites, Bellingham, Vinicius and Wurtz, in the race to win the Ballon d'Or. However, if Vinicius wins the Copa America, choosing a winner between the two of them will not be easy. But because the European Championship is still, rightly or wrongly, more respected than the Copa America, Mbappe would still be expected to win. So what are the chances of Mbappe being the star man for France and winning the tournament? Well, at the moment, the bookies have England, along with France, as favourites to win the Euros, followed by Portugal and Germany. The French team this year is as good as it's been the last few years, with Griezmann, Dembele, Giroud, Camavinga, Chouameni, Saliba, Hernandez, Upamecano, and Manion, to name a few. Now, Antoine Griezmann is a French player who's been in wonderful form this season. In La Liga, he scored 13 goals, made 7 assists, and scored 6 goals in the Champions League. During the qualifiers, Griezmann was one of France's best players, playing all the matches while scoring one goal and giving one assist. Griezmann finished as the top scorer and player of the tournament at the 2016 Euros, and will be looking at replicating his incredible 2016 form at this year's tournament to assist France in securing the trophy. A hugely important player in France's squad this time around is William Saliba. This man is widely renowned as one of the best centre-backs in the Prem and even the world. He's been the cornerstone of Arsenal's defensive record this year, and David Raya can give him some credit for his Premier League Golden Glove Awards too. Saliba will for sure be a very important player for France at the Euros, and subsequently a very important person in Mbappe's hopes of winning the Ballon d'Or. Ousmane Dembele, currently in the 2023-24 Ligue 1 season, has scored three goals and provided eight assists. He's also been involved in three goals in the Champions League. Now, the dribbling prowess and ability of Ousmane is not a shock to the world. What's shocking is the fact that he's played a whole season without a major injury. A fit Dembele will definitely cause chaos for the opponent's defence at the Euros. Mbappe is going into the Euros with the intention of winning. He knows more than anyone what's at stake and has promised to leave his mark. It's my first normal Euros. In 2021, it was held in several countries, so it wasn't the same. It was strange. Now I want to leave my mark on it, declared Mbappe. So Mbappe is very hyped about the competition. On the road to the competition, the French captain was excellent. He scored nine goals, provided six assists during qualifiers. He'll be looking to replicate this good form at the Euros, which he has long promised to bring home for France. It's going to be an amazing experience for sure. I really want to win this, Mbappe said in a recent interview with CNN. It's my first competition as captain, so it's really important for me and it's always important for the country. And we want them to be proud of us. I think we can all agree that Mbappe will win the award at some point. But with France being tipped by many to go all the way... Will it be this year?